Let's talk a little bit more about an event and its complement. I'm calling them E and E complement here. Um, first off, they're always going to be mutually exclusive. If you know your, uh, if you were in an outcome that was a part of E, you know that it couldn't have been in E complement and vice versa. If it was in E complement, it couldn't have been in E because of how we define complements. The complement, recall, this is everything that, that everything else in the universe that, that could have happened. Um, in the universal set, that is. Or actually, we're not calling it a universal set. Once we're dealing with probabilities, we now call it a sample space. So everything else in the sample space that could have happened would be E complement. Um, all right, so uh, the complement rule says that the probability of an event's complement is 1 minus the probability of an event. So if, let's say, we had a um, flipping a coin. Uh, well, flipping a coin's a bad example. Uh, if the, the probability of rolling uh, something other than a 5 on a 6-sided die, on a d6 I'll call it, um, the probability of rolling something other than a 5, well the probability of rolling a 5, um, let me call this E, say rolling a 5 is E, so the probability of E is 1 out of 6. The probability of E complement would be 1 minus 1 out of 6. Now, it turns out when we're dealing with a, a, a complement like this, or using the complement rule, especially when dealing with fractions, there's a nice little trick. Instead of writing it as 1 minus 1 out of 6, I'm going to call it 6 out of 6 minus 1 out of 6. All I'm doing here is I'm converting the 1 so that it has the same denominator. Uh, but since it's 1, it's just going to be the same number on top and on the bottom part of the fraction. So 6 out of 6 minus 1 out of 6, you can see this gives us 5 out of 6. The probability, since the probability of rolling a 5 was a 1 out of 6, the probability of rolling something other than a 5 is 5 out of 6. And that makes sense. That's the 5 other cases, 5 other uh, outcomes you could have had. E complement would be uh, the events 1, 2, 3, 4, not 5, but 6. There are one, two, three, four, five different possible outcomes there. Thus, N of E is five, or N of E complement, rather, is five, and N of S was six.